Hey guys, Professor Bell, Comic Book University, and Rainbow Demon by Uriah Heep. This is a badass song from like way back in the day. And it's awesome, it still holds up today. There's some heavy synth in it, but it's still really... Actually, no, I'm sorry, Rainbow D, uh, Rainbow Bright. We're doing Rainbow Bright tonight. Okay, I'm a little sick, I'm a little out of it. Just my bad, my bad. Let's just go with Rainbow Bright issue number three. All right, and let's talk about who was making this comic book, all right? We got writer Jeremy Whitley, Artist, Brittany Williams. Colorist, Valentina Pinto. Letterer, Taylor Esposito. All right. And uh, cover A by Paula Ganuchiao. I tried. And uh, Classic Art does uh, cover B. I'm going to have to say that was the Classic Art as opposed to a place called Classic because that's just weird. Okay. So one of these people, one of these people, um, I've got something a little bit negative to say. Just, just a little tiny bit. All right. You guess which one. And brownie points for whoever wins. Okay, now, um, uh, basically, Rainbow Bright, like, she actually becomes Rainbow Bright Wisp. She becomes Rainbow Bright at this point, and she's like, ah, and starts, like, you know, spreading some rainbow mush all over people, and it's kind of weird, but, you know, she's, like, tearing people up, and they're like, you know, help, but then she, like, runs out of power, and she, she has to run, and these guys are trying to shoot this gigantic freaking shoulder cannon at them, you know, but, but they're, they're blinded because of the light, and it's like a, you know, blinded by the light, was that Manfred Mann, I can't remember what the name of that band was, anyways, um, yeah, so, so they're trying to run up, the drummer eventually joined Queen, just saying, uh, Queen, uh, Cream, Cream, similar, so anyway, they're running, right? They're, she's trying to run away, and then she runs into Sprite, that dude, and, uh, you know, little pink marshmallow poofy dude, and um, uh, uh, the big gigantic wolf starts chasing them, and they're just, she's just like, oh yeah, we'll take this, ah! And turns him into a big yellow, he, he looks like a big, like, canine peep. You know the peep, remember the peeps? Like every, every, um... What do you have? Uh, uh, Easter, you get, you get the peeps, like four of them in a row, the marshmallow peeps. He turned into a giant peep. Just, and there were three, go figure, there were three more of these dogs later on. So there's four of them total. Look, I'm just saying, I'm not saying anything, I'm just saying, I think it's a conspiracy. I think these are Easter candies that just went out of control a little bit. And they're all living on these big M&Ms. And right now they're on the brown M&M. And we know that nobody likes the brown M&Ms unless you're Jennifer Lopez from Made in Manhattan. I can't believe I, 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 I still have that reference stuck in my head someplace, but it is what it is. So um, they jumped to this other M&M and they could have made a bridge if they had the belt because belts make bridges in Rainbow Land, which is weird. Um, and yeah, they, they meet up with this dude and he's going to like help them out. And next issue, next issue, they're going to come across Starlight. That's the horse. And the horse is kind of cool. I'm just saying because it's like a rainbow Pegasus thing. So I, I, I'm still really sick. Can you tell? And I'm a little like the, the, the medicine is kind of and like like everybody's in bed. So like there's nobody to stop me from being completely crazy right now. And I don't know what I'm going to do next. <laughs> um, I do, however, like this comic book. This is funny. This is it's I wouldn't necessarily call it silly, but it's just let it go imaginative. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. There's a, it's like there's a story here, you know? And, um, you know, I get it. There's going to be a bunch of people who be like, Whoa, are you reading Rainbow Bright? Issue number three of all things. That means you read the first two. Oh, my God. Yes, I do. I got reviews up for them, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I like this. I don't know why. I can't put my finger right. It's like, it's like you know, just it's, it's fun. It's fun. I don't see how this is necessarily different from any other comic book that's out there, except that it's what marketed to girls or something i okay sure but i enjoyed it i think this was pretty cool there is one thing i didn't like about it and, I, and this is the person that i gotta have a problem with just a little tiny bit it's uh mr taylor esposito what's up with that man like y'all y'all ever write like i don't know I'm, I'm old so i used to have these things called erasable pens huge marketing scam total freaking scam um playing on uh wives tales because people didn't actually know what erasers were actually meant to do there was always the two sides of the erasers and like each was meant to be used at the same. so it's like you erase with this side then you erase with this side and it makes for a complete erasure no a bunch of people are like oh this side's for pencil this side's for pen 
you can't erase pen, knucklehead. You can get rid of stuff that hasn't actually sat down there. You can actually make some of the paper rip up and, you know, come out of there, like rub off some of the paper itself, but you can't actually erase ink. It's not the way that it works, you know? So, no, but but they took advantage of this, like, oh, yeah, man, it decides for, for the ink. So, so like, here's the, here's the erasable pen, and on the back, here's the little eraser, the white eraser tip that you guys like that gets rid of ink, just like you said, right? So it was a big scam, total big scam. But whenever I used to write with those, I used to like lean my hand and I would get on my, my, my four knuckles right here, not, not, not this one, but these three, I used to get the little ink marks all over when I, that was when I was a little kid, and, you know, third grade, I'm trying to write and stuff like that. And that's kind of how I felt that some of this, this lettering was done here. I felt like some of it was smudged, you know, it was, it was a little weird. A little, a little crazy. There are a lot of words I couldn't read. Maybe it's just because like I'm blinking a lot because I'm, I, I am really sick and I'm on a lot of cough medicine right now. That's why I'm not hacking into the camera. But like, I just felt like there was a lot to be desired with the lettering. And that's the weirdest thing in the world. And that's why I bet you nobody got that because you're like, who's he going to complain about? He's not going to complain about the letters. Who cares about the letters? No, in this particular part, there were some things that just, it, they looked weird and I couldn't quite pinpoint and, and I had to take a moment to really squint and look and uh, did I mention I'm like really sick and I'm kind of tired right now so anyway I enjoyed the comic book um this is gonna be the first time ever that I'm saying that I think that the letters could have been better maybe the first time that anybody's ever said that in a comic book review but, you know the the letters uh, they left a little something to be desired the letterer like maybe they should have a conversation with them like this I've I've never commented on letters before like that anyway it is what it is all right guys i'm i'm kind of done i'm done because i'm sick all right professor bill comic book university class dismissed